Fruit, it's good for ya. We should all be eating more fruit, especially in these times, that are giving our immune system some challenges. But eating a banana every day can get pretty boring. What you need is a little variety of flavor, so how about something a little more exciting than the regular old apples and oranges? From the fruit that grows near the Amazon River to the fruit that speaks the language of love, here's the 20 most unique fruits you've never heard of. <sighs> Number 20. Wakrapona Palm Tree as scientists continue to investigate the benefits of the Wakrapona palm tree, it is becoming a well-known tree type across the globe. Wakrapona palm tree is a huge evergreen palm with a prostrate or underground stem up to 45 centimeters in diameter that forms a loose cluster of growth. But that's not the first thing you'll notice about this tree. The first thing you'll notice about it is that it resembles a wiener. Yep, as a result, some folks Folks believe the Wakrapona palm tree is useful in terms of increasing penis sensitivity as well as strengthening orgasms due to its root nature. Palms are one of the most well-known and widely cultivated plant families. They have played a significant role in human history for a long time. Palms are used to make a variety of items and cuisines. Palms are one of the most commercially significant plants nowadays since they are commonly employed in landscaping. Palms were the emblems for such notions as triumph, peace, and fertility in many historical societies due to their value as food. Palm trees have come to symbolize the tropics and holidays for those living in colder areas. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Passion Fruit The passion fruit is produced by a variety of plants in the Passiflora genus. The passion fruit gets its name from one of the many different species of passion flower, which is the English translation of the Latin genus name Passiflora. Around 1,700 missionaries in Brazil gave the plant the name Flor da Cinco Chagas, which means Flower of the Five Wounds, to represent Christ's crucifixion and resurrection, with other plant components named after emblems from the Passion of Jesus. Passion fruits are either round or oval in shape. They come in a variety of colors, including yellow, red, purple, and green. The fruits feature a delicious edible core that is made up of a lot of seeds. The pulpy, juicy seeds are the components of the fruit that is used and eaten by humans. Passion fruit juice may also be made by squeezing the fruit. Passion fruit has 73% water, 22% carbs, 2% protein, and 0.5% fat in its raw form. Fresh passion fruit provides 36% of the daily value of vitamin C, 42% dietary fiber, B vitamins, riboflavin, 11% DV, and niacin, 10% DV, 12% iron, and 10% phosphorus in a 100 gram serving. Number 18. Sugar Apples the sugar apple, also known as sweet sap, is the fruit of Anona squamosa, the most frequently cultivated Anona species and a tropical fruit native to the Americas and the West Indies. It was introduced to Asia by Spanish merchants aboard Manila galleons landing in the Philippines. The fruit is spherical conical, with a thick skin consisting of knobby segments and measures 5 to 10 centimeters in diameter and 6 to 10 centimeters in length, weighing 100 to 240 grams. The hue ranges from light green to blue green, with a deep pink flush in certain kinds, and there is usually a bloom. It is the only Anona fruit that is segmented and when mature, the segments part revealing the inside. The flesh is aromatic and sweet, creamy white to light yellow in color, and has a custard-like texture and flavor. It sticks to 13 to 16 millimeter long seeds, creating separate segments in a single layer around a conical core. It's slick, silky, and somewhat grainy. The firm lustrous seeds, which may number 20 to 40 per fruit and have a brown to black 
black coat, but seedless variations exist. In Taiwan and Hong Kong, new types are also being produced. Although it was initially produced in the United States in 1908, the Eight Moya, or Pineapple Sugar Apple, is popular in Taiwan. It is a hybrid of the sugar apple and the cherry moya. The fruit has a comparable sweetness to a sugar apple, but a completely distinct flavor. It has a pineapple flavor, as its name indicates. Number 17. Manila Tamarind Manila tamarind is a flowering plant in the Fabaceae family endemic to Mexico's Pacific coast and neighboring highlands as well as Central America and Northern South America. Monkey pod is another name for it, however the term is also used to numerous other plants, notably Saminea saman. It is an invasive species that is spread across the Caribbean, Florida, the Philippines, and Guam thanks to the Manila galleons. It has also been imported to Thailand and South Asia, where it is regarded as an invasive species, the English names Manila tamarind and Madras thorn are both inaccurate since it is not related to tamarinds and is not endemic to either Manila or Madras. The seed pods contain a sweet and sour pulp that is eaten raw. As an addition to different meat-based meals in Mexico, the Philippines, Pakistan, and India, as well as used as a foundation for cocktails made with sugar and water. Different portions of the tree were utilized by the Huastec people of northern Veracruz and San Luis Potos in Mexico to cure gum disease, toothaches, and cancer. The leaves are supposed to be used to cure bile and apultis with alcohol, as well as to prevent abortions and miscarriages. Number 16. Durian the edible fruit of numerous tree species belonging to the genus Durio is known as a durian. Durio species are found in Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Thailand, and at least nine of them yield edible fruit. The only species accessible on the international market is Durio zibethinus, which is endemic to Borneo and Sumatra. As of 1987, Thailand had approximately 300 identified kinds, while Malaysia had 100. Other species are available for purchase in their respective locations. The durian is known as the king of fruits in certain areas due to its massive size, powerful odor, and thorn-covered rind. The fruit may grow up to 30 centimeters in length and 15 centimeters in diameter, and it weighs between 1 and 3 kilos. Depending on the species, its form varies from oblong to spherical, the color of its husk from green to brown, and the color of its flesh from light yellow to red. Some individuals find the durian scent to be delightfully sweet, while others find it overbearing and disagreeable. The odor has been described as rotting onions, turpentine, and raw sewage, and has elicited emotions ranging from profound admiration to acute repulsion. Because of its lingering odor, which may last for days, several hotels and public transportation agencies in Southeast Asia have banned the fruit. The flesh, on the other hand, was characterized by Alfred Russell Wallace, a 19th century British scientist, as a rich custard highly flavored with almonds. The flesh is edible at different stages of maturity, and is used to flavor a range of savory and sweet dishes in Southeast Asian cuisines. When cooked, the seeds may also be eaten. Number 15. Longan the longan tree is a tropical tree that bears edible fruit. It is one among the most well-known tropical members of the Sapindaceae family, which also includes the lychee and rambutan. The longan's fruit is comparable to the lychee's, although it has a less fragrant flavor. Tropical Asia and China are its natural habitats. The longan, Cantonese longagon, meaning dragon eye, gets its name from the fact that when the fruit is shelled, it resembles an eyeball and a black seed shows through the transparent flesh like a pupil slash iris. The seed is tiny, spherical, and rigid with an enamel-like finish. The fully matured, newly picked fruit has a thin and strong bark-like shell that makes it simple to peel by pressing the pulp out like a sunflower seed. The fruit becomes more difficult to shell when the shell has more moisture and is more delicate. Premature harvest, variety, meteorological circumstances, and transport slash storage 
conditions all affect the softness of the shell. In exceptional agricultural types, the fruit is sweet, juicy, and delicious. The seed as well as the peel are not eaten. Longan fruit is used in Asian soups, snacks, sweets, and sweet and sour meals, and is often preserved and bottled in syrup, in addition to being eaten raw like other fruits. Longans have a drier sweetness akin to dates, but lychees are typically messy and have a more tropical, grape-like acidic sweetness. Number 14. Jackfruit the jackfruit, commonly known as the jack tree, is a fig, mulberry, and breadfruit family tree. The western ghats of southern India, all of Sri Lanka, and the rainforest of Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines are where it all began for the jackfruit. The jack tree thrives in tropical lowlands and is commonly farmed across the world's tropical areas. It produces the biggest fruit of any tree, weighing up to 55 kilograms measuring 90 centimeters in length and 50 centimeters in diameter. A healthy jack tree yields around 200 fruits each year, with elder trees producing up to 500. The fleshy petals of the unripe jackfruit tree are eaten. The jackfruit is a multiple fruit made of hundreds to thousands of individuals individual blossoms, the ripe fruit is delicious, depending on the type, and is usually used in desserts. Green jackfruit in a can has a mild flavor and a meat-like texture, earning it the moniker vegetable meat. In South and Southeast Asian cuisines, jackfruit is a frequent ingredient for many dishes. Fruits, both ripe and unripe, are eaten. The jackfruit is Bangladesh's and Sri Lanka's national fruits, as well as the state fruit of Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu in India. It's sold canned, frozen, and in chilled meals all throughout the world, as well as a variety of fruit-based goods, including noodles and chips. Number 13. Sapodilla Sapodilla is a long-lived evergreen tree native to southern Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean. It is a subdominant plant species in the Petenes mangroves ecoregion of coastal Yucatan, where it is a natural occurrence. During Spanish colonialism, it was brought to the Philippines, in India, Pakistan, Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and Mexico. It is cultivated in considerable numbers. The Nahuatl word zapotl is the source of the term zapota, which comes from the Spanish word zapote. Zapodilla may reach a height of more than 30 meters and a trunk diameter of 1.5 meters. Cultivated examples, on the other hand, are generally between 9 and 15 meters tall. It is wind-resistant and the bark is high in chicle, a white sticky substance. The decorative leaves are glossy and medium green. They are 7 to 15 centimeters long alternating, elliptic to ovate, and have an entire border, white flowers with a six-lobed corolla are inconspicuous and bell-shaped. The outer skin of an unripe fruit is hard, and when harvested, it oozes white chicle from its stem. When harvested, a completely matured apple has droopy skin and does not produce chicle. The fruit is a huge berry with a diameter of 4 to 8 centimeters. Its flesh is light yellow to an earthy brown hue on the inside, with a gritty texture similar to that of a ripe pear, one to six seeds are found in each fruit. Number 12. Jabuticaba Jabuticaba is a Myrtaceae tree, endemic to the Brazilian states of Rio de Janeiro, Minas Gerais, Goiás, and Sao Paulo. Myrciaria species are endemic to Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, Peru, and Bolivia, and are commonly referred to by the same common names. Purplish black white pulped fruits grow straight on the trunk of the tree and may be eaten raw or used to produce jellies, jams, juice, or wine. The fruit is a large, thick-skinned berry with a diameter of 3 to 4 centimeters. The fruit has the appearance of a slip-skin grape. The delicious white or rose-pink gelatinous meat encased by a thick purple astringent skin. One to four big seeds which vary in form, depending on the species, are embedded inside the meat. When kept at room temperature, Jabuticaba seeds are refractory and become unviable after 10 days. Since pre-Columbian times, Jabuticaba has been grown in Brazil 
it is now a commercial crop in the country's center and south. Slow development and the short shelf life of the fruit limit commercial fruit growing in the northern hemisphere more than temperature requirements. Number 11. Wolfberry Goji Berry Goji berry, commonly known as wolfberry, is the fruit of two closely related species, boxthorn in the nightshade family, Solanaceae, Lycium barbarum, and Lycium chinens. Is the fruit of two closely related species of boxthorn in the nightshade family, Solanaceae, Lycium barbarum, and Lycium chinens. Both species are Asian natives, with a long history of usage in traditional Asian cuisine. Since at least the 3rd century AD, the fruit has been used in traditional Chinese, Korean, and Japanese medicine. Since about 2,000 goji berries are derivative products that have been popular as health foods or alternative medicine solutions in industrialized nations, based on exaggerated and untested health claims, the Duke of Argyll brought goji berries to the United Kingdom in the 1730s. Although the shrub was largely utilized for hedge and aesthetic landscaping, Farmers in Canada and the United States started commercially farming goji in the first decade of the 21st century to satisfy future markets for fresh berries, juice, and processed goods. The unverified narrative that a Chinese man named Li Qingyuan, who was believed to have ingested wolf berries daily, lived to the age of 256, is one of the most extreme claims made to advertise the product, which is commonly described to as a super fruit. Number 10. Yuzu Yuzu is an East Asian citrus fruit and plant belonging to the Rutaceae family. Yuzu is mostly grown in East Asia. However, it has lately been grown in Australia, Spain, Italy, and France. It is said to have started as an F1 cross between a Meng Shan Yiju subspecies of Mandarin Orange and the Achang Papeda in central China. This fruit has an irregular peel and may be yellow or green, depending on the degree of maturity it looks like a little grapefruit. Yuzu fruits are fragrant and normally vary in size from 5.5 to 7.5 centimeters in diameter, but may grow to be as big as a grapefruit. Yuzu is a tiny tree or shrub with several big thorns that grow straight. The leaves have a broad, leaf-like petiole and are highly fragrant, similar to those related to the kefir lime and the achang papeda. The domestic output of yuzu is estimated to be over 27,000 tons. Yuzu is a popular component in Japanese cuisine, where the fragrant zest, outer rind, and juice are utilized similarly to lemons in other cuisines. The yuzu has a tangy and aromatic flavor that is similar to grapefruit with mandarin orange undertones. Number 9. Shalta Elephant Apple Shalta is a native plant of southeastern Asia, found in India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, and extending east to southern China and Vietnam, as well as further south via Thailand to Malaysia and Indonesia, it grows in Bangladesh in cultivated areas all across the nation. Shalta is also found in the broader Shitagong Forest. The fruit grows well in India's northern tropical areas, especially in Assam and Kolkata. The chalet is also found in the arid hill region in Bihar, Orissa, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and Madhya Pradesh in India. Harvesting the shalta, also known as elephant apple from the forest, is illegal in India since it is one of the favorite fruits of wild elephants. Elephant apples have been the source of conflict between Kolkata villagers and their nearby elephants in the past. Unfortunately, the elephants strayed outside of the woodlands and into the settlements in search of sustenance due to the villagers' elict over-harvesting of the fruit. It's a medium-sized evergreen shrub, or small to medium-sized tree, that may reach a height of 15 meters. The 15 to 36 centimeter long leaves have a prominently corrugated surface with imprinted veins. Fruits are enormous with a diameter of 7.5 to 10 centimeters and a subglobose aggregate of 15 carpels, each with five seeds embedded in an edible pulp. Number 8. 
Tamarillo the tamarillo is a small tree or shrub in the Solanaceae family of flowering plants, the nightshade family. It is primarily known for producing the tamarillo, a tasty egg-shaped fruit. It is very popular around the world, particularly in Peru, Colombia, New Zealand, Ecuador, Rwanda, Australia, and the United States. The tamarillo is grown in Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia, and is a native of the Andes. It is still grown for local consumption in gardens and orchards. Popular fruits in these areas, the fruit was formerly known as the tree tomato, but the New Zealand Tree Tomato Promotions Council picked a new name, Tamarillo, which had no equivalent in Spanish or any other language, to differentiate it from the usual garden tomato and improve its exotic appeal. The fruits are egg-shaped and range in length from 4 to 10 centimeters. They vary in hue from yellow to orange to crimson to practically purple. They feature black longitudinal stripes on occasion. The sourness of red fruits is greater, whereas the sweetness of yellow and orange fruits is greater. The flesh is solid, and the seeds are bigger and more numerous than in a regular tomato. Vitamins and iron are abundant in these fruits, which are all also low in calories. Number 7. Acabia Chocolate vine or Acabia quinata is a shrub native to Japan, China, and Korea that has become invasive in the eastern United States from Georgia to Michigan to Massachusetts. It may be found on hills, in hedges, on trees, along forest borders and streams, and on hilly slopes in its natural environment. Acabia quinata is a climbing evergreen shrub with palmately compound leaves, with five alopic or obovate leaves that are not notched at the tip and grows to a height of 10 meters or more. The blooms are chocolate-scented and grouped in racemes with three or four sepals. Fruits are sausage-shaped pods with edible pulp within. The seeds are surrounded by a sweet-tasting white pulp with the gelatinous placentation. The fruit has a sweet, soft flesh similar to that of white dragon fruit, and it is largely consumed in Japan as a seasonal delicacy. The somewhat bitter rind is used as a vegetable, for example, packed with minced beef and deep-fried. Basket weaving is a traditional usage for the vines. In traditional Chinese medicine, the fruit is used to treat urinary tract infections, insufficient breastfeeding, and rheumatoid arthritis. Number 6. Pulisan Pulisan is a tropical fruit belonging to the Sapindaceae family of soap berries. It is closely related to the rambutan and is often mistaken for it. Lychee and longan are two more fruits from the soap berry family. It's sweeter than rambutan and lychee, but it's harder to get outside of Southeast Asia. Pulisan is derived from the Malay word pulas, which means twist. The pulisan is ultra tropical, thriving only in very humid environments between 110 and 350 meters above sea level. It is reported that the tree bears best after a long dry season in Malaysia. The fruit is oval in shape, 5 to 7.5 centimeters long, and dark red in color, with a thick, leathery skin, and conical, blunt-tipped tubercles, or thick, fleshy, straight spines up to 1 centimeter long. One or two little immature fruits may be seen near to the stem. The glossy white or yellowish white meat, up to 1 centimeter thick, clings to the thin, grayish-brown seed coat that breaks from the seed. The taste is often sweeter than rambutan. The seed is ovoid, oblong, or ellipsoid in shape. Light brown in color and 2 to 3.5 centimeters long, the fruit is similar to rambutan but does not have the hairy spines. The flesh is delicious and juicy, and it quickly separates from the seed much easier than rambutan. Furthermore, unlike the rambutan seed, the pulsan seed is easily consumed uncooked. It has a flavor that is similar to almonds. Number 5. Kapuka 
Puka is a cacao-related tropical rainforest tree. It is commonly farmed in the north of Brazil and is found across the Amazon basin. Para has the most output, followed by the Amazonas, Rondonia, and Acre. Kapuka trees are typically 5 to 15 meters tall. Some trees may grow to be around 20 meters tall. Their bark is brown. Their leaves are 25 to 35 centimeters long and 6 to 10 centimeters wide. There are 9 or 10 pairs of veins on these leaves. Their leaves change color from pink to green as they get older. They eventually begin to yield fruit. Kapuka fruits are rectangular, brown, and fuzzy, measuring 20 centimeters long and weighing 1 to 2 kilograms. They have a thick, rigid exocarp. The kapuka's white pulp has a distinct aroma. Instead of these anthenes, caffeine, theobromine, and theophylline present in cacao, it contains theocrine. Kapuka may be used in lieu of cocoa in a variety of everyday dishes, particularly those aimed towards children such as chocolate milk. Desserts, drinks, and sweets typically include it. Kapuklate, which looks and tastes like chocolate, but is cheaper and more heat resistant, may be manufactured from kapuka seeds. A Japanese business, Asahi Foods, attempted but failed to patent the manufacturing and usage of kapuka seed fat. Timber is made from the wood as well. Number 4. Starfruit or Carambola Everhoa carambola is a tree endemic to tropical Southeast Asia that produces starfruit. In Brazil, Southeast Asia, South Asia, the South Pacific, Micronesia, sections of East Asia, the United States, and the Caribbean, the fruit is widely eaten. The meat is firm, crisp, and exceptionally juicy. It is devoid of fibers and has a texture that is comparable to that of grapes. Carambolas are best eaten soon after they've ripened, when they are a yellow with with a little green tint, or when all traces of green have vanished. Fruits that are selected when still somewhat green become yellow in storage at room temperature, but their sugar content does not increase. Carambolas that are overripe will be yellow with brown patches, have a blander flavor, and have a soggier consistency. Carambolas of the ripe sweet kind are sweet, but not overpoweringly so, since they seldom contain more than 4% sugar. They smell like oxalic acid and have a tangy, sour undertone, the flavor is tough to describe, although it has been characterized as a combination of apple, pear, grape, and citrus fruit. Unripe star fruits have a harder, sour texture and a flavor similar to green apples. Carambolas that are ripe may also be utilized in the kitchen. They're frequently simmered in cloves and sugar in Southeast Asia, and sometimes with apples, they're prepared with fish in China. They may be cooked as a vegetable, pickled or put into jams in Australia, they are sometimes dried in Jamaica. Number 3. Salak Salak is a palm tree endemic to Indonesia's Java and Sumatra Islands. It is grown as a food crop in various parts of Indonesia, and it has been reported to have naturalized in Bali, Lombok, Timor, Maluku, and Sulawesi. The salak tree has been planted across all of Indonesia, and there are at least 30 varieties, the majority of which have astringent and sweet flavors. Salak pondo is a popular fruit in Yogyakarta on the Indonesian island of Java. Yogyakarta's yearly output increased to 28,666 tons in the five years leading up to 1999. Its appeal among local Indonesian customers, in comparison to other cultivars, is mostly owing to the intensity of its scent and sweet taste even before reaching full maturity. It is said to have originated in Bali's highlands near the town of Sabatan. Salak Bali is a popular fruit among both residents and visitors who can be found all around the island of Bali. It's the sole Monesia Salaka and one of the Kalamie clade's few Monaceous palms. Salak Bali comes in over 15 kinds with flavors ranging from sugary sweet sweet sour like grapefruit, and sour like pineapple. The fruit is about the size of a giant fig with a crisp, juicy texture. Salak Kading has a somewhat astringent, starchy texture, but Salak Gondok and Salak Gula Pasir have little to no astringency. Number 2. Noni 
the fruit of the Morinda citrifolia tree, which is native to Southeast Asia and Australasia, is used to make noni juice. It has been offered as a remedy for a variety of human ailments, sometimes illegally. However, there is no data to back up any therapeutic claims. Morinda Inc. was charged with making unsubstantiated claims in customer testimonials and other promotional material indicating that its Tahitian noni juice could treat, cure, or prevent numerous diseases, such as diabetes, clinical depression, hemorrhoids, and arthritis, according to the Attorneys General of Arizona, California, New Jersey, and Texas, who announced a multi-state settlement with the company on August 26, 1998. According to state and federal food and drug rules, the beverage was an unapproved new medication, and it should not have been marketed until it got permission, anthroquinones contained in noni roots, leaves, and fruits have been linked to liver and other organ toxicity in studies. Two clinical case reports published in 2005 documented cases of acute hepatitis induced by consuming Tahitian noni juice. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed these case reports in 2006, initially concluding that the data available at the time of the case reports were insufficient to establish a casual relationship between juice consumption and hepatotoxicity. However, an increased number of subsequent case reports suggested that some individuals may be particularly sensitive to the hepatotoxic effects of noni fruit products. Number 1. Buddha's Hand Buddha's hand, also known as fingered citron, is a citron cultivar, Citrus medica var sarcodactylus, that has no fruit, pulp, juice, or seeds. Its name comes from its unique form, which resembles a hand with several spread fingers, while some cultivars resemble a closed hand rather than an open one. While its insides are a little more than bitter, white pith under its brilliant yellow peel, its zest gives a wonderful lemon blossom-like taste to meals that may be used in any recipe that asks for citrus zest. Its peel may be candied as well. Fingered citron, like other citrus, requires a warm or at least moderate environment to thrive. Buddha's hand can grow where lemons and oranges can. It also ripens and is harvested throughout the winter, like other citrus fruits, and may be available for purchase into the spring. It comes into season a little later than grapefruit and a little later than oranges, so it may be well into winter before you see it heaped high at markets. The term Buddha's hand is a translation of the fruit's name in Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese. It's been used as a gift in Buddhist temples for a long time, especially the close-fingered types that resemble a prayer hand posture. The fruit represents joy, longevity, and good fortune. Have you ever tried any of the fruits on our list today? What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!